is the purification before the gold. The reason we purify the gold is to make it more valuable. More valuable to the mining company that we work for. They provide us with gold, we clean it and give it back to them. The gold here in Ballarat, straight out of the ground, was naturally 12, uh, 22 karat gold, which was the most pure natural gold you'll find anywhere in the world. So if I can take that 22 karat gold and remove any impurities, things like silver and copper, I can turn it into 24 karat gold. I get to do all my work up here where it's nice and safe. What you might be surprised to find out is they're not actually looking for gold, these mining companies. They're looking for quartz. The reason they're after this is because it's known as a natural gold-bearing ore. Inside this rock, there is gold in very fine veins. Find the quartz reef, find a lot of gold. The ore gold melts at 1,064. Today, I'm going to go up to about 1,200. That will give me enough time and enough temperature to pull it from the furnace pour it into that mould before it goes hard. You have to go hotter than 1064, because as soon as I take it from the heat, it will set. At the moment, it's fully liquid, which means I've passed 1064, and I'm heading up to about 1200. That gives me a window of around about 15 seconds in which to remove it from the furnace, pour it into that mould before it goes hard. into the size and base of that mould. Gold is an excellent conductor of electricity and an excellent conductor of heat. And it's getting rid of as much of its heat as it possibly can. It's gone from 1200 degrees down to 900 degrees already. Which means it's now below its melting point. And as you see, already completely solid. But at 900 degrees, that is still incredibly hot. He must have put a stick in the water. <laughs> Do the same thing to your fingers if you try to pick it up. In fact, you wouldn't be able to. It would simply melt your fingers clean off. Yeah. That gold bar has no reason to lose its heat now. He's not touching anything but the tray. So it will just sit there and hold on to its heat for around about two, maybe three hours before it's cool enough to be picked up. Problem is, I intend to pick that up with my bare hands in less than 30 seconds from now. You saw what happens to anything that touches it. So I need to give this doll bar another way of really transferring off some of that heat. I know cold water cools things down. And to demonstrate again how uh, quickly gold will move its heat, there are two ways that I can test. <laughs> there are two ways that I can test whether that is cool enough to be picked up. The first one is just grabbing hold of it. You soon learn really quickly. The other way is to feel the temperature of the water. Believe it or not, that water is freezing cold. When the water's cold, Gold is cold, which means all that heat is now gone up out there is steam, which means that I can simply pick it up and then shell it off. So what we've created is a three kilogram bar. It's 99.99% pure, it's 24 karat gold, the best type of gold you can get. Alright, so this is the battery house. We're going to come see it working at 115, but we're going to go try our hand at gold panning. This must be where the cat was. No, I think so. <laughs> no, it was over the No? Oh, it was while we were waiting for the mine, wasn't it? The yeah. tour. Last time we were here. Alright, so this is the top of the hill of the river. 
That's where we're going to go find some specks of gold. We've been here for about 20 minutes. Alright, and Emma's just helping some kids. I've helped some kids. And we'll show you how much we got. Alright, we got the red coats coming. Rabbit flag. They're about to fire off the guns. Squad will prepare to fire in series from the left. Oh, oh. Fingers in your ears. I am not. Joking. Squad, three, set. Oh. Number one. So we just did the tour. What did you think of the tour? It was really good. It was good. It wasn't as good as it was in the past. Dead health and safety rules. You were with 31 other people. Yeah. So there like, 33 people. We couldn't see things. Yeah. I'm, I'm really short. So. We, um, we missed the jackhammering mm -hmm. demonstration. The widow, widow maker. Yeah. Um, and, like, we have and you don't get to here. see the pillar anymore. Yeah. Which is a shame, but now we're at the boilers. It's yes, yeah, nice in here in winter, I bet. <laughs> Feel the heat radiating off it. Oh, yeah, you can see the. Cool. All right, now we're gonna go see the candle, candle making. <laughs> 